Have you ever met someone once and then that person disappeared from your life for many, many years? I saw a lot of smiling faces around the room, so I assume a lot of us have that experience in our life. But what if, what if that person is your mum? This woman is my mum. I met her for the very first time exactly 40 years ago. Pretty ordinary woman. She dropped off her school at year nine, um, worked for the same employer for 30 years, gave birth to the only child, Q and Sweet. So what happened next? We should live our life happily ever after, right? However, not every story is a fairy tale. My mum lived in the hospital for 10 years after she chose to give me my life. She had two major heart surgery, and she's the very few lucky patient that actually survived that surgery. So there you go. I met my mum once. She disappeared for many years um, from my life. I don't really have a lot of childhood memory of my mum, but I do remember this moment very clearly. She took annual leave from the hospital and took me to a park for a couple of hours. We had so much fun together. That day, my mum told me in her very serious voice, I want to see my grandchild one day, so I will fight every single battle until I get there. And girl, if you have a dream, trace it. Because an idea is only an idea without execution. Wow, that day I saw my mum as Wonder Woman in my life. So many years later, um, inspired by her courage and her focus on execution, I dropped my stable income. I followed my passion. I became an entrepreneur in the tech space. Together with my co-founder, Fiko Dong, we founded Asia Verified back in 2019, a company that offers real-time KYB, UBO, ongoing monitoring with only one vision. We want to empower, enable global business to engage with Asia with confidence and ease. Very quickly, I understand why so many founders work at least 80 hours a week. Even more, as a female founder, we often face challenges that are different than those that are faced by men. For example, fear of failure, not being taken seriously, I don't know how to face criticism, being so conservative when we're trying to ask for funding, and of course the word that we all know, burnout. Burnout from building a business as well as raising a young family. I have experienced all of that over and over again. What do I do? At this point, lucky enough, my mom's wise word reappear again. If you have a dream, go for it. So I realized I need help. I realized that I need to find a woman in power community that not only giving me capital, as well as the hand-on support that can solve real tangible problems that keep me away in the middle of the night. So I looked around, where are the Wonder Women in business? Where are the supporters? Not too many. So about a year and a half ago, um, together with a few other founders sharing similar value and vision, we spread a campaign called Be the Change to promote greater gender balance as well as inclusion, diversity in the tech um, ecosystems. When we first launched Beat of Change during the first five weeks, I spoke to 37 advocates seeking their help, ranging from CEO, non-executive director, investor, advisors, of course, founders who love to stand in front of the crowd and admit that they too have challenges they like to share their tips and lessons. We are a group of people that we believe by taking little steps every day, in time, big impact will come. So over the last 18 months, we helped just under 60 founders, underrepresented founders, um, to find him their investment pitch. We housed five uh, master classes to share tips and lessons. We introduced advisors, investors to underrepresented uh, business to um, help the founder to bridge skill gap as well as capital gap. We also spoke to university, high school, to let particular female students know that career choices are more than nurse and teacher. Yes, be the change that you want to be. 
I know that we are just at the beginning and the start of this journey, but none of this would have happened if we don't take a step and make things happen. I'm very pleased today here to also share with you our own Ili Ra, CRO of Asia Verify, since became a subcommittee member of Women in FinTech. So she's working really hard with Women in FinTech to spread the word to a much wider, powerful ecosystem. So thank you, Ili. I'm really, really proud of what you've achieved. I would love to end this talk with a conversation that I had with a lady called Suzanne Campbell. She's one of the 11 uh, most influential tech leaders in Australia back in 2013. So last year when I approached Suzanne, hey, can you come and join us and become one of the supporters of Be The Change? She asked me, oh, Jenny, how old are you? A little confused, but I thought I should still answer the question. So I said, oh, I'm turning 40 next year, why? She said, um, you know what, I'm over 60 this year, and I owe you an apology. I was completely lost. She then said, more than 20 years ago, when I first found my seat in the room amongst many successful male tech leaders, I said to myself, I needed to do something to promote diversity. Many years have passed, not a lot have changed. Should I have done what I wanted to do back then? you probably don't need to come to me today and ask for help. So yes, I owe you an apology. I was completely touched. Other than my mom, you know, there's another very strong reason um, to inspire me to keep what I'm doing. Talking about next generation, this is my girl. She's eight years old, born in Australia. Cute and sweet, just like her mom. I'm not sure whether Lindsay is watching her mom right now speaking on this stage. But if she is, I want to tell her, girl, if you have a dream, trace it. Because that's what your grandma used to tell me. But add to that, if life is an adventure, dare it. A show, enjoy it. A purpose, fulfill it. I also want to tell our next generation, hey, if you want to be an entrepreneur, become one. A startup is nothing without an idea. An idea is nothing without proper execution. Believe in ourselves. There's always a Wonder Woman and a Superman live within every single one of us. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to my story. I would love to hear your story as well. So reach out. My name is Jenny Lee, co-founder of Asia Verify advocate for Be The Change, a daughter, a wife, and a mom. Thank you.